And so men have got to step up their game. Otherwise, women are more than happy to live alone with motherfucking cats. Gentlemen Club Diary. Yo, yo, it is your boy Invincible and you are watching a new episode of the Gentleman Club Diary live for the AVNs 2024. I got a super fine, uh, she's a MILF. She looks, <laughs> yeah, she roars like that. You guys don't even know. Cougar MILF, She's a yes, cougar MILF. I'm a cougar MILF. She got like. I'm a MILF for porn in real life yeah. and personal life, I'm a cougar. God damn, baby. Yeah. But her name is Brittany Andrews. Oh, Miss Brittany Andrews. If you're nasty. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be nasty though. You gotta I mean, be nasty. I, if you're like one of those motherfuckers, like the TikTok trend, mm -hmm. I'm vanilla baby. Oh. Is that, yeah, no, 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 no. Mommy, no. mommy is not vanilla baby at not all. Vanilla baby. Okay, I am not vanilla. Define vanilla because uh, it I, means you a basic bitch, you're a, basic a boring ass motherfucker in bed. Like you've got like C game. Mm. You know, like even somebody's A game for a bitch like me that's been in the business since mm. the 90s, early 90s. I've been in the business over 30 years. Most people's A game is like an F game for F me. F game? Yeah. So what's, what's, what's a, so F game, what's a D game for you? Uh, this, this is pretty much the same as most people's A to F. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Like, I've been a porn star for so fucking long. If you are not coming, like, you know, yeah. you've got to be, like, Superman in bed yeah. for me to, like, go. Wow. Ah, so yeah. how can I be Superman in bed? I just want to know. Hints. Okay. Some so, tips. Some tips. You know, one of the things that I think that men don't think about with mm. women quite often is men are very... I'm gonna turn her on mm. by, you know, I'm gonna put my penis on her on her inner thighs in the morning. I'm gonna grope her tits. I'm mm. going to lick her pussy. <sighs> Women are very uh, a-visual, more than men. Men have been using that bullshit for fucking ever. And the last time I checked most men's apartments and how they dress, only gay men are visual at the end of the day. Women are 10 times more fucking visual <laughs> oh, than shit. men. So we need to throw that fucking myth out the motherfucking. The men have been oh, using shit. that shit to just stare at hot bitches forever. Yeah. You're not fucking visual. Because if you were, y'all motherfuckers would look a hell of a lot better and I have agree. nicer I... looking apartments and the whole nine we, fucking I, yards. I, a, a straight man, we, we don't know how to dress. just want to look at some tits, yeah, right? Know, like, like, that's hey. what y'all motherfuckers been using this bullshit line that we're visual. It's like, no, you're not. You're not fucking visual at all. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I agree just with just horny you. bastards I using that are, as an excuse. Are Women horny. are visual. We're so horny so bastards. So if you are not showing up in the visual department, right, mm -hmm. for a woman, if you ain't got a fucking six pack and a nice ass, then you better be coming in with the mental and this is what most men forget, is that women are very, our brains, the way that the female brain is, uh, factually, scientifically, is in the area of communication, it is bigger than men's, right? Mm -hmm. Men's is bigger in other areas and women's is bigger in other areas. And for us, it's communication. And men don't ever think about how can I turn a woman on mentally, mentally. right? And believe you me, if, if you're a man and you can figure out how to turn a woman on mentally, the, the legs will open. You've got so many people that are married forever and they're like, you know, my wife doesn't want to have sex with me anymore. It's like, well, A, you an ugly ass motherfucker. Let's start there. <laughs> ah, so if you ain't bringing it visually, then mm -hmm. what are you doing? Well, you know, I play with her tits. I, you know, I lick her pussy. All that shit's physical. Women don't work that way. We work men. Mentally. So if you can figure out seduction is mm -hmm. what men have no clue about. And we are at a point in time in history for the first time where women don't need men. And so men have got to step up their game. Otherwise, women are more than happy to live alone with motherfucking cats. I agree with you. <laughs> uh, I agree. We are in a day and age, right, where women are right. this, this it's independent like we woman. are. We are... Like demanding that men step, step up, it up. Step up. So, and one of the ways that they need to step it up is definitely sexually, right? And I'm a porn star. I've been in the business for 30 mm. years, right? And so um, 
I love my business and my industry, but it definitely has not taught men how to be good, how lovers, to be good lovers, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so I really think that communicating not about action, right? Not about like, do you want me to do this? Do you want me to do that? But let's talk about fantasies, right? Because women read books about fantasies. eroticism, right? About mm -hmm. romance books, all these different kind of things. You need to psychologically get into a woman's head to make her pussy fucking wet. So how do I make you wet right now? That's what I'm how do you make me wet right now? Even though you're looking at me like, <laughs> she is looking at me. She's looking at me like a cheeseburger right now. But I want to know. I'm not a steak, baby. I love, my, I love cheeseburgers. I like only am allowed like two a year or something hey, or one I a like year. I like older women. That's my problem. I like older women. How do I... Well, you know what? The thing about it is, is it would take a long, a much longer conversation than, mm. you know, we all want the quick, fast, and easy, instant gratification. Mm. I'm a woman. Mm. I'm complicated. It's going to take a lot longer than a two-second two answer no, we gotta talk. to talk we, about, to yeah. really get, get into it. Yeah, exactly, another drink. Right? Another drink. right? We're going to get another drink. You need a drink? Yes, I do. I she need needs a coffee. Drink yeah. Can we get, oh, coffee? I only have yeah. liquor. <laughs> That's all I got. Well, get this man a drink. Get you know? me a drink. Get, get him a drink. A drink. Exactly. Okay, I, I got to hear. Garçon. I got to hear this from from an older yeah. woman's perspective. And, yeah. And you've been in porn, so I'm pretty yeah. sure you know what grind, what what kind of gets us us men aroused. Absolutely. What, 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 Absolutely. But see, my my thing is, how can I make? I want to make my woman come. That's yeah. what turns me on. And I think, once again, that is the wrong perspective, okay, too. Okay, wrong perspective. I'm already right? fucking up. I'm already fucking you up. You are. You okay, are. Okay, so what am I doing wrong? So a man's perspective of sex is the end game of busting a nut, right? Mm -hmm. And a woman, we want to enjoy the experience because a lot of women are not vaginally orgasmic. So if you're thinking about, okay, well, we're going to do this or do that, and then I fuck, and then I come, it's like... That's just not the way to give a woman a pleasurable mm. experience by thinking about the bottom line, mm. right? So, you know, we talk about foreplay. So let's start with foreplay, which is communication first, right? Yeah. So, you know, for a woman, it might not be... It might be about like what turns her on the most from the entire thing from the beginning to the end. Uh, after she's been mentally aroused and you've gotten her to that place, it might be just having a fucking cock banging the back of her fucking throat until she's damn near barfing, oh, right? Yeah. So it might not be the orgasm for her, which is the most pleasurable point of the entire experience. So I think that you have to kind of take away this, well, how do I make her calm? Mm -hmm. Right? Because that's kind of... So what makes yeah. you calm? What makes me calm? Um, Can I get a drink, by the way? Hey, he's like, I was serious about that, Garcia. Uh, no, no, I'm serious. Like, what, what makes you calm? Like, I want to know what makes you. Um, once again, the things that I'm talking about. Like, so I need the full experience. Is it communication? Is it talking? Or is it? So is it... I like role playing myself, uh -huh. right? So yeah. I like all different kinds of role playing and playing at a game and being in certain kind of roles. And that for me is um, something that makes the whole experience a lot better. And yeah. I'm more likely, if I'm just going to have regular sex without extra added stuff, fantasies and role playing and all that stuff to get my mind stimulated, I'll bust a nut, but it's like a hiccup kind of so bust a nut. Have you ever like been like going to jerk off uh -huh. and then like you decide to hold it? And then you accidentally come and you're like, fuck, I should have just let myself come like when I, I have, wanted I to because it kind of sucks. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Women have a lot of that. Yeah. So yeah, like, a lot uh, of like, eh. Like yeah. I came, but it was like, eh. So do you ever like when you're intimate with your partner where they're doing it and you're like, damn, this shit, I come, but it's kind of whack. All the time. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time. Most of the time? Yeah, because also, too, with work, there is none of that communication or anybody caring about my sexuality and what I want from the experience. Quite often, work sex is always about, you know, the man, the performance, all those different things. And we, as women, are left out of the conversation. We are left out of the performance. We are just, even though we are the main centerpiece, we, our sexuality is pretty much 
not giving a fuck about. And that's yeah. what we're teaching young men by, you know, watching porn and stuff like that, which is why I think it's really well, important I, for I, parents to have conversations, mm. especially with young men, but both young men and young women, about how porn is entertainment. But as somebody that's been in this business for so long, I know that it's not just entertainment. Most people get their education about sexuality from Ooh, porn, porn, unfortunately, but it is... It is fucking true. Well, after talking to you, I, I want to watch your porn. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, I, I mean... You might be surprised. Oh, yeah. Mistress Mommy is known to be a yeah. pioneer of a few different things. Yeah, yeah, you kind of... You, you are... You're like... You're like one of... <laughs> you ever like... Um, how was it? Like, uh, back in the day, I used to work at a construction... Uh, 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 I used to have a construction job. Okay. And I remember uh, we, we were doing some demo work at a house that... Uh, and, and it was an older woman, and uh, she was very attractive. And I'm like, man, I wish I could just be with her. Yeah. You're like that. Yes. You're a woman that maybe somebody in her 20s might dream about being with. Was yeah. It? So, you know, I think, I think it's very attractive to Is be that attractive? with. I think it's attractive to be with somebody that knows their own sexuality mm -hmm. and is confident about themselves and their body. I think that's very attractive to both men and women. What do you like most about yourself, like as far as physically? Physically, Physically. Uh, I have always liked my eyes. I love your eyes. Yeah, yeah. thank you. You got yeah. like some, some very... Everything else we've done plastic surgery on, so... <laughs> it's, it's cool, though, but you know We're what? We're getting there to my eyes. They're yeah, next, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like your eyes. But you <laughs> know you. what? I never would have imagined that you're... And you're in, and it seems like you're embracing your age. You're not worried. I do, very and I much. And, I, and I, I respect that because a lot of women, as they get older, they're like, I don't want to say my age. Yeah, but no. I'm look... in my 50s, and I feel very... Um, a, there's a couple of different aspects, right? They, I've got a lot of friends that, you know, I've been in this lifestyle for yeah. a long time. You know, uh, we just had one of our own yesterday die of a drug overdose, the lovely I Jesse heard about Jean, that. right? Yeah. And so I'm very grateful that I'm still around on, on that aspect. A lot of people don't get the gift of uh, being able to live this long, especially when you're kind of in these fast lane kind of lifestyles, right? So there's that. And then also, too, being that I am still in this business and I have an opportunity to um, not only talk to the public about different things of this mm -hmm. nature, which I think it's important to have conversations about sexuality and yeah, also yeah, yeah. about drugs or alcohol or about... Uh, for myself, as being a, a businesswoman in this business, as long as I have been, and you can't really be in this business mm -hmm. for 30 plus years without having a good head on your shoulders, but then to be like a, a hopefully a good role model to those that are under you on like how to run your business, right? Question, would you recommend... Now that you have the experience doing porn, would you recommend somebody young, like say somebody you met, maybe she was a dancer or somebody mm -hmm. in, her, in her early 20s, uh -huh. she wanted to do this kind of yeah. life, would you recommend it? Absolutely. You would. Why? If she's got the right personality for it, uh -huh. right? Like if you need to get fucked up to do it, don't do it, right? Like that's like a starter. Um, if you're wired sensitively, mm -hmm. right? Probably not a good job for you, career. If you're... A disorganized mess. If you're yeah. not got a good head for business, if you're not a motherfucking hustler grinder, yeah. if you're a hustler and you know how to work and grind this and you've got a thick skin, right? And you're down to like do what needs to be done. Like this is an amazing fucking business for yeah. you. I got a girlfriend of mine who I started telling her 15 years ago. I was like, bitch, you belong in this business. And she was a stripper, right? Yeah. And um, and she just got into the business this last year. And I'm like, oh, like I, I, you know, as a mother, right? Like, oh, I wish she could have been it, like, you know, much earlier because I know, like, she's already got a lube line. Like, you know, she's like already yeah, getting into all these different. Very entrepreneur. Very entrepreneurial. Very entrepreneurial. And yeah. I always knew that she was yeah. like a, a hardcore hustler. And like this business has got a cornucopia of opportunities. Like every. Like, you go like this, like, th like there's so much that you can do business-wise. And if you're somebody that knows how to capitalize on that, then yes, be in this business, yeah. you know? So, speaking on that, yeah. right, as a, I used to run a club. So, yeah. my, my, I used to tell the dancers, look at this as a stepping stone. You right. Can, you build connections, mm -hmm. you can move on to bid, yeah. get your money, stack it up. I don't know. Yeah. Which, but, but my thing is, and now with speaking with you, I kind of mm -hmm. feel that same way, like, 
with the porn, you can actually, there's so many routes. You there's can do. so many routes. I mean, and, and, and it's interesting too, because recently I had this paparazzi photographer, yeah. you know, that I've known for 20 plus years, ask me this question and he thought I was going to say the exact opposite. He thought I was going to um, co-sign his bullshit. Uh, and for him, I guess it's probably not bullshit, yeah. right? But for me, it's total what bullshit. What was the question? What was the question? So he asked me, are the... Do you uh, like the performers of today or yesterday better, mm. right? And so he thought I was going to say, you know, I like the old school bitches, you know, da-da-da-da. And I'm like, no, I love the new school bitches, right? And why? Because back in the day, you know, in the 90s when it was the golden era of porn, all we had to do was show up, suck cock, and then go home. Right now, to be successful in this business, a bitch has got to show up, suck cock. She's got to know how to run the camera. She's got to understand platforms, algorithms, marketing. Like you have got to be a smart, intelligent bitch. You got to understand how you use social Ooh. media. You got to understand the algorithms of social media. You got to be on platforms. You got to be on OnlyFans. You got to be in fans. You got to be loyal fans. You got to repurpose your content. So that means you got to be in many vids. You got to be on I want clips. You have to be. You have to have all your paperwork in order. You have to understand makeup. You have to understand wardrobe. You have to understand. Story Storytelling. God damn, baby, I got all a headache those. just thinking of that. God damn. Okay. So those were all those different oh, routes. Uh, okay, like maybe, so check wait, this wait, out. wait, one last thing, one last okay, thing. Okay, hurry so up. So like you God said, damn, I got a headache. Right, so like you said, right, get him another drink, people. Get him another drink. Get him an aspirin. Another drink. No, but the point is, what you said originally was, you can take so many different routes, right? Mm -hmm. So. You can be a content creator and a star, and you have to do all those things. Or you can say, you know what? I really like editing. So like the like the stripper thing, right? You, you start building different things. You see where it leads to. And then a lot of people do. They leave, and they go, I'm just going to be an editor, right? Or I'm just going to become a stylist or something. Like There's so many different Avenues. routes that you yeah. can take if you don't like this one where it's all these things mm -hmm. there's so many other ones you so, know you know you talking about that right like and i've talked previous interviews we're, yeah. ta we're just talking about like uh as, as far as like what do we think yeah like people that think porn doing shooting porn or stripping is not right a, a exploitative real or something real, yeah no, it's, it's like real, real easy like that's easy. real that's easy. easy exactly that, exactly right? exactly that shit. all i'm doing is sucking cock i'm not doing yeah, any shit. of those yeah. things that i just said yeah, that's right, just easy, right? <laughs> but look you just explained something right yeah pr work goes with yeah. this you got to do interviews yeah not everybody's comfortable with doing interviews yeah not everybody's comfortable with a lot of things. A might, lot of things. Having your own LLC, you know, making sure you're paying your taxes. Not everybody knows your, how to do all that. Exactly. Not every, like, there's a whole lot of mentorship that is lacking. Yeah, exactly. And especially the stripping industry. Right. So, Ooh, yeah. Oh, puppy. Yeah. Oh, she, she uh, dog getting crazy. Yeah. Oh, okay, the doggy's grabbing me my coffee. Do you mind, doggy, bringing me my coffee? Uh, oh, Such a good okay. segue. You have your phone? Yeah. Oh, she's got it. Thank you. All right. So, so it's I, AVN. Things are crazy yeah, around here. We got crazy. dogs. We got cats. We got <laughs> liquor. We got, got liquor, coffee. coffee. We got uh, shit. He's drinking a wine cooler. I've never seen that before. <laughs> <A wine cooler. laughs> he is a Pisces. <laughs> yeah, <he's> not, <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. No disrespect to the Pisces out there. Right? No disrespect to the Pisces. Okay. So, exactly. do you have do you have a certain sign that you actually uh, maybe not click with? No, I get along with all of them. Everyone. I actually do. Uh, Aries. I do bump heads with, right? You know uh, why? Huh? No, you know, but you're a Leo. I'm a Leo, right? So, so I bump it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> like, and um, <laughs> I do bump heads with Aries. Like me and Aries get along really, really well uh, until we don't. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But I have some very long term. Uh, Aries friends mm -hmm. that we did have the head bump um, and then both of us had to put our egos in our ass be it find a little humility a little um, a little um, yeah stepping back to appreciate some humility to uh, appreciate the, the friendship and so uh, even some of my Aries that I did have the big you know we yeah, yeah. after years because Aries seem to have a tendency to like hold a grudge a little bit more. Well, I think I think if we can set aside our egos, we're all yeah. good. It don't yeah. matter what sign you are. I've I've connected with yeah. a variety of different people. I work with a different people. Scorpions. I've had a yeah. lot of them. A lot of people don't like scorpions, but I've had a lot of scorpions as uh, my slaves. Well, and oh, because you're um, into dominatrix, right? Yes. Now, now back to what we were talking about sure. off camera, yeah. right? It was uh -huh. very brief, but. Yeah. Um, dominatrix stuff. Now, I feel like a lot of porn stars that I've encountered yeah. and I've been interviewed mm -hmm. already, mm -hmm. it seems like that's kind of an easy 
That's like an easy alternative as far as shooting, as far as them getting banged out and all that stuff. It seems like it's easier for them to peg a dude or for them to fucking do the dominatrix stuff. Is that true or is that false? I disagree highly. Okay, why do you disagree? So, A, um, it's become something more normal for porn stars to do the dominatrix thing, definitely like within the last decade. Uh, and like I said, I've been around for three decades. So um, one out of three decades, it was normal. Baby, you've been here for a very long time. Long right time, now. exactly, right exactly. And you know what's crazy? OGAF. You OGAF. OG, you're OG gangster. OGAF. I still, I'm not, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, but yeah, I'm still bangable. You, I'll bang you. In a <laughs> I'll I bang. love it. And, and and the camera guys will bang her too. This guy holding the, he will bang. No, he won't. He's my one of my closest friends. No, no, he would. He would. Because if I he would, didn't know me, yeah. If he didn't know you, if he, he would, didn't know me, he would, yeah. I would check you out. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so going back to the whole thing. So, um, so yes or no? It really depends. Once again, mm -hmm. on like I myself rather be a hooker than a dominatrix, right? Because for me personally, I like laying on my back uh -huh. and not hurting my my feet and uh -huh. just getting fucked, right? You have beat up feet. No, I don't have beat up feet. Right now I do because they're killing me from the yeah, convention. Baby, but in general. Put some socks on, baby. But in general, no, I've got beautiful feet. Oh, I'm known okay. to be like one of the top foot fetish models oh, ever in That's the right. history right. of adult entertainment. Yeah. I did the world's largest, most extravagant yeah, foot shot gangbang. Pretty feet. Yes, very pretty. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, they're very suckable. Okay. Anywho, but my point is, is I want to keep them pretty, right? I don't want to mm. be like, you know, running around. And so inevitably, a dominatrix is somebody that has a certain skill set. And most dominatrixes, if you go to dungeons, they don't start off as doms, right? They have to go through training. To be a porn star, there's no training. You just suck some cock and you get fucked. But to be a real dominatrix, to understand how to do CBT, to understand how to use a long tail whip, to like do all of the things that a, a real not a fake, but a real dominatrix does. It takes years and years and years and years of training. So typically they start off as a sub in a dungeon mm. and then they work with the dominatrixes and then they get mentored. They do like internships until they gather the skills. So it's like Tajichu. Yes. Are you serious? No, 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 don't bullshit me. No, it is. is it, it is. Does it, it is. really take it that long? And the thing about it is, right, is that uh, a good dominatrix can have an extremely long career, longer mm. than per se the average porn star, specifically because she's got a certain set of skills that the average individual does not, and therefore her value stays, her value stays relevant uh -huh. for a much longer period of time. Okay, so what are your skills? Like if me and you are hooking up, I'm not saying that that's gonna happen, mm -hmm. but if you wanted it to happen, I'm cool with it. Right. But if it was to happen, yeah. How would you, what are the skills? I know, I, I think yeah. I would be able to please you. Right. But would you be able to please me? Um, I don't care. I'm a dominatrix. <laughs> <laughs> but what, okay. Okay, but what, yeah. hold on, hold on. Where are you from again? Wisconsin. No, no, no. Wisconsin. She's from LA. She's from LA. She got to be from LA. But you, li you lived in LA. I've lived in New York. I've lived in LA. Yeah. Live in Vegas now. Yeah. So, but... But yeah, so um, inevitably, okay, let's go back to consent because I was kind of joking a little bit. But yeah, obviously you have to have consent. If somebody's not into it, then, you know, next. Yeah, so I'm not into like the pegging stuff or what. Mm -hmm. And shout out to the people that do like that because I don't know. Well, you know, I'm known to be the pioneer of pegging. Are you? Yes, okay. absolutely. There's a dude that like he, on our, our, our site, mm -hmm. he just keeps leaving comments. He's mm -hmm. looking for a girl to one of the stars that do something so it's just crazy to me yeah. because i started a series on vhs in uh -huh. 1996 called uh britney's bitch boys mm. and at that point um i think there may have been only one other so back then there was very few uh mm. female directors mm. right and even less female director producers Baby, right? let me ask you a question yeah. why do you keep looking at me in the eyes like that because I'm yeah. looking at you man to man. I know, but right? you're looking at me like you want me or something. Uh, <laughs> a bed get him, right a, get him no. another <laughs> drink. He's got some, you <laughs> know. <laughs> no, let's get another drink. No, I'm just messing with you. No, she's dope. But, I like, I like, I'm like fucking. I, you know, I'm a man, man. I look at a man, a motherfucker man to man, right? I'm talking to you. Can I'm looking at you. Because I'm almost done. Um, 
But yeah, so um, inevitably, so back then there was very few uh, female directors, even less female uh, producers. Uh -huh. And back then, all the distribution was done through Italian mafia, oh, right? Shit. For VHS. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh I didn't yeah, know. it was all East Coast Italian mafia. You a gangster, gangster. Goddamn. <laughs> you better kill me right now. Goddamn. You a gangster. No, I'll just use that in your ass. And oh, you got to substitute sometimes. I put more than one bottle up a man's ass. It's fine. No, not in my ass. No. For the people that like whatever they like, more power. Like, yeah. One thing I have learned doing yeah. this and doing it, whatever. I learned not to judge anybody, whatever exactly. they like. There's different right. strokes for different. I like certain things. Dude, I know the guy that owns Sket.com. Don't yeah. ever let him show you that site. You will yeah. be damaged for okay. the rest of your life. Like I like, <laughs> I like squirters. Do I you know what Scat is? No. <laughs> I know. I knew you didn't know by the way you just glossed over when I said that. Okay, so All right, hold on one second. It. Camera guy, do you know? No, he Yeah, don't. he knows. He do you know what it is? You know. All right, all right. From behind the, the camera. Who, from, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is it? From behind the camera, let, let us know what is scat. Yes, thank you, you camera guy. From the Pisces. Go Pisces. Yeah. How do how do I yeah. not know about shit? Well, I'm not interested. So shit. Oh, I know the guy that owns Sket.com, uh -huh. right? He owns. Uh, he's here at the convention. He was at Exhibit too. He owns. Uh, I think it's called Lover Fans as well. Mm -hmm. And yo, don't let him ever show you Sket.com. It's a little scary, man. Okay, have yeah. you shit on somebody? I've actually had a body double shit for me on film. How many people can say that? A shit body? A yeah. Double, double, yeah. Like yeah. The, so, like, I didn't to, shit because I don't do else shitting. Acted like they yeah, were exactly. So, they did like a close up and then they switched people. And then somebody else came in and then shit on the person. Then they did a, you know, they pulled out, panned out, and then it was okay. me. Uh, in real, are you into shit? No. What are you? I love piss, though. You love yeah, piss? Yeah, I love, I I'll love pee pissing on, on a motherfucker. Want me to pee on you? No, I like pissing on men. You're going to pee yeah. on me? Yeah, I piss on you. Well, if you pee on me, I got to pee on you. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it got to go. Just a golden hey, hey, shower hey, hey, extravaganza. Hey, hey, you got to cheers to that. Cheers <laughs> that. I, I love coffee. I'll get drunk off of your piss, man. I'll get a free lapse. <laughs> Hey, if you get my pee, you're going to be like, this guy is a god. I'm, like, I'm so god. drunk. Like, like, so no. you only pee on people. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I do what I want. Yeah. yeah. You try to be a boss, huh? I try. You know what? We, it, it, that's going to go back into the conversation of yep. um, how girls are super independent mm -hmm. nowadays. Yeah. Um, I think women are super independent nowadays. Um, and I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I think that's actually really... I think it's healthy for society. I think yeah. it's going to make men step up to be better, better fathers, better human beings. Mm. And I think when women um, have money, quite often what you see is we give back to community a lot. Right? Well, it's women, part of our... When women have one. Yeah, when women what have about one. Look at... Look at um, they're more greedy and selfish, right? Look at Taylor Swift, right? Every time she goes into a city, she feeds all the homeless for like a year, right? I myself, I do a lot of charity work in the do Philippines. You? Yeah. Okay, I so me and you, hold on, like hold on, hold on. Over a thousand children and uh, senior citizens in the Philippines okay. every year. So me and her, right? So now that she's saying yeah. that, <clears throat> so I, I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to do something like where I'm giving back. Yeah. I didn't know what to do, but yeah. now that I'm talking to yeah. you, um, maybe we can get back together. Um, I'll yeah. I'll find I've the got a I've I'll got a I got a page on Facebook and GoFundMe yeah. to I'll, support I'll find, the efforts. No, yeah. I'll, I'll find the whole thing. <laughs> um, but I, I definitely want to get back to the community. But my point is, like, when you see a lot of strippers, right? And mm -hmm. it was even in that one movie about strippers that J-Lo was in, oh, right? Oh, J-Lo. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, So, like, I took care of my mom for 16 years. She had Off polio. Of stripping? Did you get money from stripping? Yeah. yeah okay. Actually, I, a couple of times she even went on the road with me. Oh, did she? And back in the day when I would uh, feature her dance, I would do something called booby ball all the time, right? Photo, what is that? So, the concept of it is, is you put a cup in between your tits and then guys Guys take dollar bills or 20s is even better, obviously. They sink faster and harder. Anyways, and so they, they roll it up, up into little balls, and then they throw it into the cup. And if they get it into the cup, they get a free 8 by 10 So I'd make a couple of hundred bucks sitting on my ass on stage having motherfuckers just throwing balls of money at me. <laughs> Respect the hustle. Anyways, it's a pain in the ass after your fucking show unrolling all of those booby balls. Wow. And the bank won't take it. They won't even take it if it's really rumpled up. You then gotta then yeah. you then gotta iron that fucking damn, shit, right? So my mom used to help on roll booby balls. So your mom had your back. 
You know, my mom, um, yeah, I feel, you know what? I, I feel as though, um, like, one of the reasons that I've been able to keep a good head on my shoulders all these years was because I did have a good foundational support from my mom and the rest of my family. They've always been, like... Like, maybe they would have preferred that I did something else, but they saw I was successful, I was happy, I paid my bills, I did my due, I was a good human being, you know? Okay, so am I weird because I don't think, like, shout out to your mom, because mm -hmm. I want to send my love to yeah. her. Am I weird because I don't think that that's weird. I, I, I kind of <laughs> I, I feel like it's dope. I think like, it depends on um, where you come from, right? Where I came from, you know, I had nothing. So, like, my trajectory in life was probably to get pregnant in my teens and to be on welfare, yeah. right? So, I mean, if you come from a really good family, I could understand more of, like, where they're like, I don't understand this. But I also kind of feel like, you so know... So, did you come from a very bad family? Is that what you're saying? I came from, like, poverty. Broken home? Right? Broken home? Yeah, okay. exactly. So, you know, my mom, like I said, had polio. Uh -huh. So she lived on disability. And it was, you know, back in the day before the courts really made men more accountable for yeah, paying yeah, child yeah, yeah. support. So we had no child support. So, yeah, I grew up very, very poor, you know. And so I feel like... Once again, when you said, well, would you say to a woman to get into this business? It's like, if you come from poverty, this can be an amazing business to give you a life beyond your wildest dreams if you play yeah. your cards right. Okay. And that's definitely been my experience. Right, and so that's all, with, all All I can share is my yeah. experience, you so know? So check it, check it one time. If you want to do OnlyFans and you look <laughs> good, there's a, there's, a, there's a whole platform for you. Yeah. And what else? Oh, there's Fansly, there's Lover Fans, Just For Fans, uh, Loyal Fans. Oh, there's so, lot. yeah, there's I, like I, a I, thousand I, I, different platforms. And then there's all the clip sites, you know, many vids, I want clips, clips for sale. Yeah, I mean, there's a plethora of platforms. Lot, and then there's platforms. all the camming, right? You've yeah. got, you know, Chatterbait, Jasmine Live. you got all the different, um, Jerkmate, I just signed a deal Jerk with. Me? Yeah, right so. What's Jerkmate? It's a camming. Okay. It's a streaming platform. Okay, okay. So, so you yeah, play I with mean, yourself? Huh? You play with show? I haven't done the first one yet, but I probably will be touching my cunt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so if you want to get into this business, once again, there's so many different avenues. And if you don't like one, you can try something else, you know? Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think I kind of feel like um, you tried to get me drunk on this. On this uh, yeah, this because, you know, you, you said no, and I like <laughs> yeses. <laughs> uh, you know what? But I do feel like this, this interview was very... Uh, it's good for the girls who want to get into the business. Yes. And actually for the fellas that want to see your work, mm -hmm. how can they follow you? Um, well, I go by DJ Britstar on TikTok, Why Instagram. DJ? Well, I DJed for like 15 years. You I were DJing? Yeah, I traveled all over the world I DJing. Didn't know that. Yeah. And so I did quit DJing during the pandemic to be able to really focus on all of the different platforms that we were just mm -hmm. talking about. But um, Brittany Andrews is a common Brittany name, Andrews. so a lot of people already took my name, but DJ Britstar is more unique. So yeah. I've stayed with my, my DJ name for a lot of my socials. Well, shout out to Brittany Andrew. She is the DJ. She be scratching. She haven't. She hasn't scratched any of my music yet. Uh, but hopefully soon, right? <laughs> I've done beat juggling. I, you no, know, no, I'm done no, the do. No, 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 no. Done the do. You, you gonna you gonna scratch some of my well, music, right? I've got my original 1200 MK2 techniques. Techniques. But check this out. Hey, motherfucker. Yeah. You know I'm a musician, right? I know. I had no idea. I, I play fucking saxophone. I, play I love it. Acoustic guitar. I love it. I'm a writer. Yeah. I'm a performer. Musicians always make pussy wet. Hey, right? so we I got I got I got a new song, <laughs> uh, Invincible, mm -hmm. uh, featuring Too Short, uh, Rain Dance for the nice. Shivers. Nice. And I'm gonna have you share, baby. Yay. Yeah. But she's gonna some, she get gets some she, get some milf jiggle. Yeah, milf jiggle. Milf jiggle. I like milf. Milf jiggle. I like milf. I like <laughs> milf shakes. <laughs> hey, you, you want to know something? Uh, before we wrap it up. I did like her uh, boobies because her like she had like some areolas showing right. I there. did, I did. You know, they're kind of my areolas are kind of fat like my pussy. I like. Yeah, them. It's, yeah. Fat. You know what? I gotta I gotta P -H -A -T, research her boobs. H A T. You got a fat pussy. <laughs> I do. Shout out to Brittany Andrews because she got a fat pussy Yay! and she has a big ass areola. God damn, baby. She's a, hey, you're the well, mom. thank you so much thank for having me on today. It was a lot of fun. I well, enjoyed my you. time. Do you want to give any shout outs and any disses or anything like that? 
Much love. Much love. Hey there, everyone. It is Miss Brittany Andrews, and I just wanted to do a special shout out to the Gentleman Club Diary. Arr.